How has Jamaica's history of superstition contributed to its hesitant approach to mental health treatment? Oh, oh boy. Um, so superstition and mental health in Jamaica, um, it's, it's not unique to Jamaica and for Jamaicans to have like a, an apprehension or a fear around mental illness. Um, the mind and the brain and illnesses that affect there is not like the physical thing where somebody gets a chop on them hand and you can see it and okay. You're dealing with the, the hormones, the neurotransmitters that, that causes us to think and behave and have emotions. And when those go out of balance in some way, and that balance can be quite different for different individuals, um, you see the manifestations in either how the person thinks, how they behave, their emotions, their, their, their what we call cognitive functions in that manner, their ability to plan and sequence and organize and abstract think and so forth. But when you have a vacuum of understanding as to, you know, you get the physical cut, you can see say, the cut causes a bleed and if it's soap and so forth, it's, it's healing. When you're seeing somebody out there acting strange, what could it be? It must be something that has influenced them, that's something spiritual or something that is unseen. And of course, if it is unseen, it is to be feared. I mean, we're coming from when persons with mental illnesses used to be burnt at the stake. They used to drill holes in their brains to, to allow the evil spirits to escape. They used to beat it out of them, all of them something there, you know? And now what, it ha what has come on is that you hear about spiritual possessions and and you know, um, incarn incarnations and so forth, negative and positive. And your earlier question in terms of um, the belief structure, if the person does not believe in, in, in terms of spirituality, if the person does not believe in the process that you are engaged in to try and help them, it is going to be very, very difficult to do so, right? And in terms of trying to address what, what, is, what is really sad for us in psychiatry sometimes is when we actually see a client that we know and we can see the classic textbook presentation, right? And just as the textbook show you how it will present, the textbook will show you how to treat it. And the family will come and remove the person, will sign them out against medical advice. This is somebody who is probably likely violent and aggressive. We've had situations where a mother would remove her son and two days later we hear that that mother is dead by the same son because she can carry him go up your man and then go give him oil and this and that and that. Not saying that, you know, I'm not going to discredit the belief structure, but at least recognize that we do have avenues that can be helpful. And give that a try too, you know? So it's like mental illness is like, is like a diabetic or a hypertensive. You cannot look at the person and know unless the illness has gone that far because mental illnesses are kind of all on a spectrum. You know, we all have anxiety, we all have depression and so Some of we all have some little touch of, of psychosis, you know? Mm -hmm. But it's when it becomes out of control and when it starts to imp impede or, or functioning that becomes an issue. And just like the hypertensive or the diabetic, who there are certain things that will exacerbate the situation, and if you do them, it will make the condition worse. If you eat a cake or ice cream, or you, you you're shouting on top of your, your thing, on your, 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 the top of your voice when you have when you have high blood pressure, it will not turn out well. Likewise, with the sub, with the with the mental illnesses, if you constantly are under stress, if you're constantly exposed to trauma if you are dependent on the substances, if you're using substances, mm -hmm. that can also make your condition worse. And just like the diabetic or the hypertensive, if you take the medications and you live the lifestyle to take care of the illness, the same thing can happen with a, with a mental condition. Yeah, but it's about taking, taking control of the situation. Well, let me hear you say, mountain, mountain.